Hi, my name is Bahadır Çelik and I'm field engineer at ExxonMobil. Today I'll be showing you how effective lubrication of construction equipment can help to protect and optimize your machine, allowing you to improve operational safety, environmental care and productivity. Grease is a really important part of the optimum operation of off highway equipments like an excavator. It plays a key role in preventing metal-to-metal -metal contact by protecting joints, pivot points, pins, bushings and bearings. Specialist greases for construction equipment are formulated to satisfy very specific kinds of operation. So it's important for you to find the right grease and apply it in the right way. Let's start with how to select the right grease. A single machine might need a variety of greases to optimize its performance. Original equipment manufacturers usually recommend a range of grease that are suitable for a piece of equipment. But it is really important to make your selection based on your working environment. Different loads and operating conditions, for example, can require different greases. In terms of selecting the grease itself, there are two main variables to consider. Consistency and viscosity. Grease consistency refers to the thickness of the grease. It's measured in an algae grade from triple zero to seven. Each thickener brings some performance benefits, which affects elements like water resistance, pumpability and ability to operate in high temperature conditions. It is recommended to use a grease with a stiffer consistency which will hold the grease in place. For example, Mobilith SAC220 is a multi-purpose NLJ2 extreme pressure grease recommended for heavy duty applications. When it comes to viscosity, it is important to consider the conditions under which your machine operates. Typically, Higher viscosity grease are more water resistant and can improve heavy duty or high load applications. Lower viscosity grease usually offers enhanced pumpability and so it protects equipment when operating at lower temperatures. Greases are available with synthetic or mineral based oils. Both have their own merits, but advanced synthetic base oils are best suited when the equipment exposed to extreme temperatures under significant vibration or working under demanding loads. Before carrying out any maintenance work, make sure your machine is safely parked with the engine shut off. Follow your user manual to do this. Depending on the type and size of your equipment, greasing points will vary. In fact, some machines will have more than 50 greasing points and use a central line system. Before applying any new grease, be sure to really clean the greasing point. This will reduce the risk of accidentally mixing with dirt or debris. Deciding the correct amount of grease to use for a specific component is absolutely essential. With the grease nipples, you can continue to pump in grease until a small amount comes out. But be sure to wipe off any excess. When greasing bearings, it is important to remember that bearings should never be more than two-thirds full, leaving one-third air space. This lets the grease move around the entire component, making sure that it is completely protected. The swing bearing is a key component in your preventative maintenance routine. It's costly to replace, but easy to grease. You may need to rotate the cap 90 degrees and then 180 degrees between applying grease to ensure you thoroughly grease the entire unit. Be sure to check your user manual for this. The boom and arm will have a large number of greasing points. Bolts, couplings, pivots and hinges all need to be thoroughly cleaned and greased. Attachments also need to be greased. The focus should be on the connection between the attachment and boom where the almost constant movement and stress mean it's essential to have a grease that's suited to rock conditions and heavy loads. Mobile Grease XHP 320 mine, for example, is scientifically engineered to remain in place even though conditions of water spray, high sliding and high temperature. Well, I hope that's given you some useful information on grease that you can put to work on your job sites. Thanks for watching.